Hi everybody, this is Dale. Welcome to my channel, Not Too Shabby Chic. Today I have finished my design team project for Happiness and Crafting by G. Kerr using her The Magic of Music digital kit. This is a journal that I just completed for my March design team project. It's an awesome kit. Uh, those of you who love music, or even if you're not a musical instrument player or a singer I love music so if you love music you'll love this kit whether you play an instrument whether you sing whether you dance whatever you do throughout our lives we need music music is just a part of our lives dancing singing instruments bird singing to me that's music God created music in just about everything. I can hear music in my head without really hearing music externally because of something that will remind me of a song. And um, we should always have a song in our heart, right? Because it helps us to be happier. Uh, music calms the savage beast, someone once said. And it also calms our souls. It can take us back to places in our lives and back to memories that that are endearing to us and it can take you back to places you may not want to go so if it does turn that thing off <laughs> but anyway I am excited uh, to share this with you so let's get started on the top I created a writing board sort of so I cinched it with this beautiful gold cord you can see it a little better sparkly um, and this is the spine with these rosettes that have um, sort of a mauve and bronze gilding paste tint to them. And I used the uh, gold and bronze gilding paste throughout because I just think of gold instruments for some reason. I know there are some that are silver, but most of this is gold. But this is the writing board. This background page is from the kit, um, beautiful, and this is a Tim Holtz image, of course, and I had this vintage uh, card off of a Price is Right game. These words, music can change the world. This little cluster's from G's kit. This little piano uh, keys are from her kit, and of course I added lace. Then I did a pocket, and this is from the kit. These are just blank background journaling pages that I uh, did on my pink dyed paper and you can open that up and there's journaling space and I stitched around that so that goes here and on the back side I collaged from some of the leftovers that I had several pieces I cut out and I just collaged onto this um, this page then inside here, and these are all from her kit, and I use this vine, gold vine trim throughout as well, and this beautiful brown lace that I get at Hobby Lobby. Then I made a little booklet to journal in, and it's got the brown lace on the spine. This is from G's kit. Music is the strongest form of magic, and it is wonderful. I used a Tim Holtz little girl dancing on the piano and this is a page from her kit. This is out of a magazine. Listen to your heart. And basically it's just got coffee dyed uh, and pink dyed papers in there. Blank pages for you to journal with. So that's sort of your writing board if you will. Um, the cover of the journal, I chose to use this page. It's absolutely beautiful. I printed it on a light pink, um, powder pink almost, cardstock um, that I got from a friend of mine. And I need to find out where she got it because I love it and I'm running low on it. But it really turned out nice for the cover. And I don't know that you could, you could probably tell it's kind of pink. And I used... Um, The, the bronze gilding paste, the gold gilding paste, I've got ribbon here, obviously you can see that. Here's another shabby rose, and these are just some trims. 
that I have in my stash that I kind of layered um, here. You can see the different layers there. I may add a tassel or either a boho bead. I haven't decided. Um, so if you're interested in purchasing this, just private message me and I will um, let you see that before I add it or before you buy it if you want it or if you just like it like it is, then you can tell me that. You, you know, you don't necessarily need a tassel or, or a boho bead of sorts hanging down or dangles, but we seem to like those now. So anyway, that's the cover inside um this is all the pages unless i tell you otherwise are everything's from the kit unless i tell you otherwise except obviously the cloth tools uh, cloth trims laces and jewelry this is a vintage brooch it's a beautiful bird with flowers that i've hoarded for a very long time and decided to use him this is a flower from my stash that i won this is a vintage button. Music gives a soul to the universe, wings to the mind, flight to the imagination, and life to everything. That was by Plato, which is why I wanted to do something with a bird. This is just pinned on, so if you love it and want to wear it or do something else with it, you can take that off. I didn't want to glue it and mess the brooch up. This is the other side of the journaling page. You know, and again, just the uh, gilding paste. And then I did some layering with the, fab the trims, lace trims. And we have, uh, this journal belongs to a little tag that was in my stash. And I just made a little tuck spot there. This is just a little journaling card that's been grunged up a bit. Little pink flowers on the front and back. This is a black tag that I sewed around and put some uh, bronze gilding paste and pretty pink trim and this is a vintage playing card St. Louis Symphony Orchestra so I felt like that went well with the baby grand here now that's what I thought it looked like then this is a pocket in here oh and this is made from envelopes by the way I used um one, two, I think I used four envelopes to make this, and they created the spine uh, the way I did it, and I reinforced the spine with chipboard. Um, but there's four envelopes that I sewed pages in. Here's a pretty journaling card with um, some little cute birds, and this is a green fabric ruffle that I used for a trim. Journaling space on the back. And there's enough room that you can add a little something else if you would like. And the pocket is lined with the pink paper and then one of G's kit papers over here. This side, we have uh, another beautiful page from her kit. And I've hidden it. <laughs> but it's got a saxophone and that beautiful um, flower. I don't, maybe it's wisteria or I don't know my flowers unless it's a daisy sunflower rose um, this is out of my stash from dust fairies this is just some pink and gold twine that I also use to sew in the signatures where words fail music speaks so this black um, tuck that I used is not from the kit and everything else paper wise was um, this is not from the kit. Look deep into nature and then you will understand everything. Albert Einstein. This is just from my stash I cut out of something. Little girl. And here's another cool vintage playing card. New Orleans with the guys playing. I didn't have one with saxophones, but they're playing trumpets or, or something. And I'm sure someone will be happy to tell me what they're playing. I used two uh, envelopes here for a flip. This is one of G's um, background pages that you can journal on. Of course, I use gilding paste and what have you. And one of my fabric clusters with a vintage button. You open that up and you have 
um, this is purple and gold with notes these envelopes I got a long time ago at the turnip green one of my favorite places to go shopping for supplies and in this envelope we have this is not from the kit something I had in my stash a photo um, and there's it's backed on with coffee dyed paper this page is a vintage playing card St. Louis Symphony Orchestra and then I took her word melody and this was some vintage um, music paper and there's another one of my little fabric clusters with the button and that just folds over like that and then this is from the kit with the beautiful harp and I put symphony there because those harps remind me of angels and symphonies and I've got vintage buttons piece of doily that um, was pink and I used the gilding paste and bronze gilding paste on there this page um, those who wish to sing always find a song I thought that is, it's got the little bluebirds it's a beautiful page so I've got these birds um, canaries and they're in their little cage and even though they're caged, they find a song they want to sing. So they are, you can see this one has his mouth open. He is singing away. So no matter the circumstance in life, you can sing your way happy. And those who wish to sing always find a song. To me, that would also mean those who want to have joy and be happy will always find a song in their heart so I loved that saying this is another vintage playing card that says uh, I can't pronounce it something about Monte Carlo and it looks like a guy and a gal going out on the town probably to go dancing or to go to a symphony or the opera so I thought that went well here and you see all the uh, vine trim I've got on all the pages this is from the kit beautiful collage looking page and then I added the fabric cluster this is some pink paper I got from cre uh, creating with Jovi on a prize I won that side with the fabric cluster with some vintage music sheet behind it this is um, from G's kit and these this is a cello I guess or that's what you call that or bass fiddle and this little piano top is from the kid and then adorable and then I've just put a little vintage button at the top there or you could put a brad in there to make them swing this is not from the kid I got this in happy mail from Michelle Barnes and I wanted I thought it was beautiful here and then these two more vintage playing cards he's playing the drums although he's in a marching band but he still got music going on and this is from the Hard Rock Cafe in Copenhagen and that's a uh, guitar so music related I, I wanted to include that this is from the kit Isn't that gorgeous with the daisies and the coronet I think it's what that is then this page is a old a vintage sheet music I got out of a book it says I love you truly and I just thought it was pretty I've got her piano here with the little Tim Holtz girl sitting on the piano and then I made a tag here with the um, bronze gilding paste which is really pretty and then this sticker is from the Dollar Tree and you can oops you can journal on the back and we'll flip it around everywhere first but I love this the way that turned out and this is a vintage playing card and it's got daisy looking flowers so to me it went with those daisies so we've got that there and these little tabs G created are so cute little piano key tabs so love those so I put those everywhere I've got a sheet of music hint hint this side is the other side of um, 
a sheet, the music sheet, the Tim Holtz girl dancing, and it says rhythm, which is from the kit, and she needed some rhythm to be a ballerina. This is a journaling page from G's kit, and the embellishments. I added this little dangle from Tim Holtz that says inspire, and this from uh, journaling space, journaling space. This is I got from Jovi, this paper. And I did a fabric cluster. This is from the kit. The music is not in the notes, but in the silence between by Mozart. Isn't that awesome? And this page of the song talks about the doorway as she stood there years uh, something. Oh, the moonlight fair tonight along the Wabash. So anyway, I just thought they looked cute there. So I put the Tim Holtz man and woman there. Part of that I Love You True. No, it's the Wabash song. You'll see it in a minute. And then there's a tab, of course, with the piano keys. The rosary is on the back of that page. Uh, vintage music and note journaling space from the kit. This is the harp again. I like that. So I used it again. It's the larger one that you can journal on. Journaling space. This is one of my bigger clusters with some vintage buttons and pinks and burgundies. It kind of peeks out the top. And this is a piece of washi tape. Love this page. Very, this spread is kind of uh, eclectic, but I just tried to do anything I could think of that had to do with music. So it's not all prim and proper symphony and orchestra stuff. So this is musical that I have hoarded forever. It's an Elvis Presley pen. And this was in G's kit, the guitar. But I added a piece of music to make the um, fret and the, where the strings are, you know, when you play. She doesn't have that, but I added that there. And then here's the piano she has in the kit. And I got the Tim Holtz guy sitting on the piano. That reminds me of that song. Uh, play us a song, Mr. Play us a song, Piano Man. Sing us. I don't see. I just ruined that whole song because I don't remember the words. But that's what I hear in my head. And then I made this little tiny booklet from the bluebirds in the kit. And I added words, music to my ears. And it's just a little tiny journaling spot for you. You got several little pages. And then on the back, or I added fussy cut the little birds to put them there. I thought it was really cute. Then you've got these three uh, sisters here out of the Tim Holtz dolls. And one of them is holding a rose. And I put you rock because this is kind of like the rock and roll air page. <laughs> And it is on music paper. And I did not add a tab on that one. And I think it's because I did the gold trim instead. And I have uh, Tim Holtz. I don't know what you call these. Circle thing. But it says listen. You can't hear the music if you don't listen. You can't hear the words if you don't listen. You can't hear what's being whispered in your heart and your soul if you don't listen. So I like that. The other side of the music page. Then this is an altered paper clip with a music note on it and some little trim. And this is an envelope I made, an altered envelope. I didn't stuff it with anything. I um, thought I would leave that for whoever gets it. You have a pocket here, pocket here, here, right? Then when you turn this page down you have pocket there for the envelope so it's got several places that you can um, put some hidden things in or you can use it in something else and I put lots of these um, note sheets that G had because they were great for journaling this probably has more journaling space than any journal I've done in my life <laughs> I don't usually leave much journaling space. And then we have the word harmony from the kit. And I just put the vintage music sheet under it. Um, this is 
some paper I did in pink with some with some tattered angels mist the trim a button cluster then I took one of the coin rolls and um, jazzed it up and put this is from the kit the little treble clef this is a Tim Holtz girl and I had this teeny weeny little guitar with pink on it that was a charm so I put it in her hands I know it's out of proportion but I still thought it was cute and there's a little hidden spot with pink paper that you can journal on Isn't that cute with a vintage button and I use that button because to me um, it kind of looked black I'm sorry that was stupid it looks black because it is black like a record I was trying to go for something that looked like a 45 an old record so that's kind of um, what I did there. All right, it's getting darker outside, so I'm lighting up in here. This page uh, is just the pink paper. This is from the kit with the birds on it, and I added a vintage button. And then you have this pink sparkle paper, and I added a fussy cut, sort of, the saxophone out and stuck it on the front for a journaling spot. And this is another Hard Rock Cafe. There we go. And this Hard Rock Cafe card is from Philadelphia. So you have that. I kind of hid that behind there. Here's a tab with the music sheet. And I have this heart paper clip that I got from MJ Ray's, my little buddy. And there's a Tim Holtz lady sitting on the piano keys here. And the little chipboard thing says, Fun Times. I know you can't see it when I get too close. Then on this side, I have an old French Quarter New Orleans um, postcard. And I thought this went really well because when you think of jazz music and saxophones and what have you, you think of New Orleans. So I wanted to include that. This I printed on vellum, so you can still write on it with the right kind of pen. Then for the center of the signature, I have uh, an angel wing and a guitar. And I put some bronze gilding paste there. You can see the trim I used. Here's another uh, music page with a little snippet from, I got from MJ with a vintage button and there's a little Tim Holtz girl and this is on the Wabash far away then here's the other side of that this is just pink paper with a little envelope and a cluster oh. this was a vintage anniversary card but I covered the anniversary part up and just used this that I got from Dust Fairies. Thought it was pretty because bells ring and play music. There's music everywhere. So anything I could think of that was kind of different that showed music is what I added. Isn't that pretty? Then you've got a, the inside that was the inside page of that. And then I've got washi tape at the bottom. And then I just added a few other pages so you have some extra journaling space. Obviously, the, from the kit, then I have Endless Celebration. This was some, some kind of little kit I got at um, Goodwill. This is a beautiful cathedral uh, vintage postcard. And cathedrals have pipe organs and the bells toll and ring and people sing hymns. Um, so I thought it was apropos. It's the Heinz Memorial Chapel in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So you have that where you can find music as well. This side we have a shabby rose and more note journal journaling page. This page, um, the part of the song says, brought her little dainties just before she died. Promised she would meet me on the other side. Told her how I loved her. She said, I know Jim. Just do your best. Leave the rest to him. Gently I pressed her to my breast. Soon she would take her last long rest. She looked at me and murmured, pal. And softly I whispered, goodbye, Sal. That's sad. But 
I put the wedding people because I'm thinking he's remembering back about Sal and when they got married. And that was his best day ever. And they play music at funerals too. So um, this I got in Happy Mail. I don't remember who sent me this one. It was recent. Fabric Cluster. This is just a pink sheet and I added um, this pretty pink um, paper clip from MJ that she sent me. And it's a beautiful, I think Don Tunis sent me these cards. I, I couldn't remember. I've used them before and they're gorgeous. The birds and the flowers. That one's got a butterfly and it's just journaling space. I put this on the back, the ties that bind. Um, and you'll see it on the back side. Just a moment. And I don't know that you need the pink paper clip, but I didn't want it to come off, and I think it's pretty. So here, the ties that bind, you have the journaling space. This is from the kit. And this is another beautiful page from the kit with the birds singing, because birds make music. You have another vintage playing card, and this is um, a span, it's upside down, a spania. So, You've got Latin dancers who are obviously dancing ole. See the maracas, or what do you call those things? They're not maracas. Fingery things. Uh, they play music. This is the Hard Rock Cafe in Montreal, and it says Lucy in the Sky with the Beatles on stained glass. So I thought that was really cool. You got lots of vintage playing cards in here. And this is from the kit, which is awesome. Silhouette with music behind them of people playing violins. And maybe the bass fiddle there with the daisies and journal on the back. And I stitched around most all of the journaling cards or tags. There are a few I didn't, but most I did. Back side of this page, music can change the world again. And I've got the little boy sitting on the music treble clef, the Tim Holtz guy. And he's thinking about that. And we've seen how music has shaped the world over, over the centuries. Orchestral is in the kit. And I've got this on a uh, music page with the tab, Fabric Cluster. This is the other side of a song. Many years have passed since I strolled by the river, arm in arm with Sweetheart Mary by my side. It was there I tried to tell her that I loved her. It was there I begged of her to be my bride. And it goes on. But that little boy and girl, I thought, went, so cute, it's Tim Holtz, baby, it's when he first met her. And that's like the same couple probably that's on the other side when they got older and did get married. And then this is Vintage Lace. This is yellow paper that I got from Jovi. This is a tag I made with, um, somebody sent me this. Oh, uh, Forget Me Not Alzheimer's Program. Tara sent me. I won this in that box. Isn't that pretty? And it just fit perfectly on here. And I used tool for the top. And I did an altered paper clip using G's um, guitar bases. And put a button on it. But it's an altered paper clip. And on this side, see, it's holding in these I've had forever and wanted to use them and didn't know how. Let the good times roll. Well, that's an old record for those of you young people that don't know what a vinyl record used to be. That's what we used to play. And um, it's party time records. And it's just uh, it's open for journaling. Come join the fun. So it's uh, I just thought it was so cute. And went perfectly in this journal. Here is another note page, and this is from the kit. The guy playing the saxophone that says the magic of music with the beautiful pink um, daisies or black-eyed Susie. I don't know what they are. But I love them. Journal on the back. Just made little tuck spots. This is just some vintage paper, a uh, note paper that I've had. It's a, uh, well, it's not note paper. It's a vintage postcard. Place your stamp here pink flowers around it and I've had this forever I got in happy mail from somebody I think that's German 
and it looks like an orchestra folks and there's a chandelier or maybe it's at a ball and they're playing the music and this was uh, or is a postcard as well music and journaling space then this is the other side of a music one of the music sheets with with the tab but I decorated it so this I got from Maria's miscellane no 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 I didn't this I got from Linda Riddle in Happy Mail and I'll be doing a video showing you what else she sent me the sticker and this lamppost um, were from Dollar Tree and I loved them and I was like the Tim Holtz guy putting his hand on the um, what do you call on the keyboard he's kind of standing there I'm out of frame see him and he's got some old vintage music behind him and he's got his feet crossed and it says rhythm and then I put the keyboard across here for everything to stand on. I just love that page. I thought it was cute. And this is a special bond. And here's a Tim Holtz couple. It says, All love, tis something to feel your kind hand. Ah, yes, tis something by your side to stand. So I thought that went well. And this is a cool page. I've got the you know you could use these belly bands i use them all as tuck spots with a, one of the tim holtz men sitting there on the edge of it then i got a one of the black um tags that has like the chalk feel and i just did the gilding paste on it and put the tim holtz guy with the old music in the background this was out of a scrapbook paper it says love because we love music and this I had in my stash and do not remember where but it's got music notes on it so I thought we needed that in here this is uh, from that stickers that I got from Linda thank you so much Linda when you watch this it made my journal and music and then these are the whatever those are uh, this came off of a card that I had that was for Christmas and I took him off and put him here on the music notes and it says orchestral and just a snippet from MJ that I cut up and used there this is something I had in my stash study in G and I put G's little birds I fussy cut the corner out and put them there and then I added this vintage library card, the Dewey Decimal System. And this is uh, Arthurian Triptych Mythic Materials. I, uh, Charles Williams, C.S. Lewis, and T.S. Eliot. I did not have anything about music on one of these. So this was as close as I could get. And this is one of my favorite Bible verses, and you can color it. And it's Zephaniah 3.17. This translation said, the Lord, the Lord rejoices over you. The translation I know, the full verse, says the Lord rejoices over you with singing. So it goes with music. And here is another page from the kit. It's a collage-like page. Love those. And you can journal on that too if you want. A fabric cluster. And I have... Um, this beautiful card from my stash with one of G's little violin pieces and a vintage heart button. You can journal on the back. And then I made this one um, with the gilding paste, of course, and put this Tim Holtz letter M for music. Or if your name starts with an M, like Mac Bay is my last name, it could be for that, or Mary, or Mo, or Megan, or whoever. This is a gorgeous page. Love those bluebirds. And I just put a paper doily that I inked up in the word harmony because the birds are harmonizing even when they don't know it. And this is the other side of the paper doily and I added just a flower I got out of the prize I won from uh, Tara. This is some more stickers. These stickers I had. Music is life. That's why our hearts have beats. So I had to put hearts on this page 
this heart up here has two birds facing each other and there's a keyhole and it's to me like music is the key to your heart so that's kind of my underlying message there and I had a little piece of lace there um, this side music is the strongest form of magic we saw somewhere else and I did a snippet piece of the snippet for, I got from MJ and you have I got this from my stash it says for with God nothing is impossible Luke 1 37 you can journal on the back and I added a butterfly vintage playing card because I thought it went nicely there and the last page happy every day you can be happy every day and this is from um, G's kit with the daisies and the uh, old piano that I use gold gilding paste on and I did not make a tuck spot there then the ba back page is uh, one of the pages from her kit that I love and I did it on the pink paper as well and there you go so I hope you enjoyed the video and that you like this journal if you're interested like I said you can message me and I will get back to you and then also you can let me know if you want a tassel or a bead with it so I know um, it's been a minute love you guys thank you so much for watching Go check out G's um, digital kit, The Magic of Music. I will link her Etsy shop below, her YouTube channel, and her Facebook group all below so that you can come join the fun and you could purchase this kit. Her, All of her kits are super, super reasonable. And you can make something fun with it. So thank you, G, for the opportunity. Everybody go out and make it a great night. It's your choice. Make yourself happy by choosing to be happy. And listen to some music, for goodness sakes. Bye-bye.